Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 42. In this video, I will be taking apart a couple of inline ground fault circuit interrupters, also known as GFIs, GFCIs, or RCDs, depending where you are. They're not really checking the ground, but they're checking, they're checking the line coming in and comparing it to the line going out. And if there is a discrepancy, they will disconnect. Both of these I use in my system. The one on the right I use before the uninterruptible power supply. And the smaller one I use after the uninterruptible power supply. So if there is an issue on either side of the battery backup, power is cut. A couple of the differences between these two is this one will disconnect when you disconnect power and will not reconnect until you press reset. Whereas this one, if it trips and if power is cut and restored, it will reconnect. So there are two very different ways of running these GFCIs. It'll be interesting to see what goes on inside of these. At the very least, I expect to see a couple coils of wires for both the hot and the neutral, and then some sort of a sensing coil. Now this one has a security screw, like that's going to keep me out. One moment while I go get the tool. Alright, so I have the screws out, now all I need to do is just trim through these labels here. And we're in. And here are the coils I was talking about. Now the green wire is connected to the ground pin right there, and that goes straight through. There is no circuitry even looking at the ground. Now here you can see the black wire, the hot, going through this coil. And here the white wire is the neutral. And then there is a sensing wire, which in this case, ironically, is green. And it's there looking for a current difference between the hot and the neutral. Now let me see if I can pull this out of here. Okay, the only thing left in there is the output of it. And then there's a couple of uh, silicone boots. This is the reset button. And this will only allow resetting if it's energized. And here's the trip solenoid. And that will not allow this button to latch unless it is energized. So this one's a pretty simple one. There isn't much to this one. And like I stated earlier, the ground passes right through, so it's not really checking for a ground fault. I don't think I'm going to put these boots back in, since this thing isn't used outdoors. I'll be right back when this is put back together. Here it is back together, I decided to leave the boots off. It's easy enough to put them back in if I feel like it later. It's not being used outdoors, so I don't have to worry about moisture or anything like that. So now I'm going to set this aside and let's take a look at the other one. So for this one I just need my Phillips head screwdriver. We'll see if this bit is long enough. No it's not. One moment. Okay this screwdriver will work better. I'm going to take out these six first. I don't know if I need to take out those other two or not. Oh, 
Uh oh, that one's a special screw. I'm gonna have to come back to that one. Looks like this one's trying to keep me out too. We saw while well, that worked in the last one. Now I am going to go into my workshop and modify a screwdriver to get that one out. I shall return. All I did was take an old screwdriver and ground a little slot in there and it should fit right on this screw and it's perfect. Oh, it looks like I've got to take out those other two screws. Okay, no problem. And here's where the output hooks up, hot, ground, and neutral. I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to see on this one. I don't want to destroy it on account of the fact that I use it. But let's look at what we can see. Let's take a look at our two buttons. Well, this one's just a little dome button. Now the other one, and the other one is a different style where the conductive material is on the button itself, on the rubber, like a television remote. I'm gonna take a little better look at this off camera so I can see how far I can take it apart. All right, I'm not able to get this board out of here and I don't wanna risk breaking it. Now we can kind of see the same sort of coil with the hot and neutral wires running through it. And then down here we have a solenoid of sorts for connecting and disconnecting. When you press the test and reset buttons, you can hear a definite click. So this is going to be kind of part of a video series on the electrical equipment in my studio. I'm pretty much just going to go in line from the outlet to the equipment. The next one in line would probably be the line regulator. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.